To tell you the truth, I don't know much about the origins of the Borg fly. It was first introduced to me at a fly tying session in Frosses Hall by David Murphy in 1995, and I am tying it ever since. The name Borg fly suggests that it is an Irish or Scottish pattern, countries with many bogs and peaty waters. Wherever you see whirligig beetles scooting along the surface, put the bog fly on. It will catch fish for you, as it did for Linus Schaaf, Ray Robinson and me on a couple of North Donegal mountain lakes. And what a splendid day we had. I'm watching. So where's that fish you I told me? Why well, didn't you catch it? Get it next time. I think it's oh, monster. Yeah, huge fish. They're getting bigger. Oh, almost pen size. <laughs> Not again! What? Rolling. Uh. Was that enough rolling? Well, yes. Now, to comfort or reassure the rain-hungry salmon angler, sometimes it is raining in Donegal, and Ray and Fritz love those days in particular. It's not supposed to be. You should have caught that one on a video. And Fritz tries desperately to catch another one. That is a fly, mm -hmm. a bog fly, and a trout. Trout made it into a big nest. Look, look at this. Wow, nest. that's a good fish, isn't it? On the bibio. Yes, sir, on the bibio. Great. The bog fly does it for Mr. Robinson in the driving rain. The Borg fly does not work well when tied on big hooks. This size 12 here is exactly what you want. The layer of thread goes down first, but this time I leave a length of about 15 or 20 centimeters sticking out at the back. What we do with this is something I'll tell you later, in a moment. But first I put down this layer of thread here. Now I take a few of my peacock hairs, which I cut off the feather earlier on, and tie those in. Nice. Yep. And now I form a body with it. A chunky body this is supposed to be. So this is really a fat food item for our trout. So, that ain't bad. Cut this off. Now I take this piece of thread up again and rip the body of the fly with it. It is a hidden sort of ribbing but still important because trout have very sharp little teeth and they would shred this body to pieces in no time at all. So this is used to stabilize the body a bit. The heckle for the bog fly is red and I have sort of a dark red 
or dirty red would be the better description. A dirty red cape here, which I dyed myself. I just take a feather out of this, just like that, trim it in the usual way and tie it in. And I have mini hacker pliers here, which are just right to hold this and wind it around twice so that the red is not dominant here. It should be just about visible, that is all. And the next thing is the wing. Any dark feather will do. It can be grey or dark grey. In the usual fashion I take two pieces out here and put them right on top of each other. But they are really covering. Bring them in position. The pinching loop ties it down. So, that's it. That looks good. I'm pretty happy with that. I can now just take up the whip finisher and produce a knot. Okay. So. Clean the eye hole. And there we have a bog fly. Finish it on the gas here, make sure that you gobble it through.